is a sign that you need to fast. This is a sign that you need to plan. Raffaello, Cheetos, you know, 200 meters away from us. We don't work around, so that mean, and I'm like, we do have an addiction. Yeah, you go out to a party and like, yeah, that one, which I don't have at home, that's what I want to eat. And these particular people are those who love Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Precious from Bone Health and Beauty. And today is day 98 of my 100 days challenge. But today I'm not giving you guys herbs. I'm not talking about, um, uh, what's it called? Alkaline lifestyle or Dr. Sebi, anything. Today I want to come and poke some people. And these particular people are those who love food right those who love to eat those who sort of just once you see free food you see a lot of food you see foods that you've never tried before you're always just quick to want to gob like everything in this is for you <laughs> the reason for your problem you're the reason why your diet doesn't work you're the reason why you cannot fast you're the reason why you have whatever problems with your health. I mean, I'm saying this not pointing fingers because I was actually that person as well. I mean, where I'm, I like food. I like to eat and I like nice foods. I go to fancy restaurants and I want to try everything. You know, you want to eat everything you don't cook at home. You go out to a party and like, yeah, that one, which I don't have at home. That's what I want to eat. <sighs> We have a slight addiction let's just be honest you could have a, an addiction to food you can have an addiction to anything else but the reason why your diet your um detox your fast or whatever doesn't work is because you cannot do without these things like you start all over and all over and you all begin over today oh i'm on a three days detox and then on day two your brain triggers like hey let's have that fanta or cook let's have that sweet thing like oh my goodness this salad is killing us like we your brain is wired to always rebel against anything that's uncomfortable you need to know that and the moment you can control this then you can control the rest of the things that happens around you so your brain triggers this and of course you succumb and then you go in like okay you know what i'll just have a little and maybe we would continue the fast tomorrow or the diet tomorrow and and that's how it goes tomorrow never ends tomorrow you're doing the same thing all over and all over again and if you were having a challenge say you had a 100 days challenge a 50 day challenge a 21 day challenge or whatever you find yourself coming back and being like is anyone else starting all over again <laughs> i see that on you know support groups that i'm in and i'm like we do have an addiction. Yeah. The body is not built that way. The body is built to have a bit of a suffering. I mean, if you think about our, the, our ancestors or the Asian people or our forefathers, think about it. They had to work for everything that they ate. So if they were going to have yam today, they had to make sure that during the planting season, they tilled the soil, they planted the seeds, they waited for it to, you know, harvest or for it to grow, germinate and become fruits. And then they go back, dig the soil again, and then get the fruit out. Bear in mind that they have to work miles and miles to get to this farmland or to get this produce or afterwards bringing it back home they have to do so much work we don't do this anymore so we don't require this much calories on a daily basis we sit at our desk we get in the car to get into 200 meters away from us we don't work around and so we have so much calories available to us. We have calories in the kitchen, calories on the elevator, calories on our desk, you know, calories everywhere, more than we actually need for our daily runs because now we're more sedimentary than we used to be as humans. And for this reason, we don't need this much, but we're consuming so much more. And if you think about it, we're, we're consuming more processed foods than the natural things because i mean the things you're carrying around and snacking on is not a bowl of carrots or cucumber or beetroots or you know something like that it's pringles 
Raffaello, Cheetos, you know, some, some cream crackers and things like that. All of the processed foods and it's killing us. Sorry, but it is killing us and you know it. You know that you're not supposed to eat this. You know you're supposed to exercise. You know you're supposed to do a diet, do a detox, do a Fridays. You know it like inside of your mind because after you consume that sugar, after the rush comes through, you start to regret like, oh, I shouldn't have had this sugar. Now I feel fatigue. I shouldn't have had that burger. Now I feel like this. You know it. You can sense it. You know what you're supposed to do about your problem, but you just can't do it. So if you're watching this today, this is a sign. <laughs> this is a sign that you need to detox. This is a sign that you need to fast. This is a sign that you need to plan. And by planning, I mean, you need to plan your diet. You need to plan your foods. You need to plan your movement. You need to set out time to actually self care and self care is not go and get a manicure or get a pedicure or take a massage. It's not just that you need to plan to actually take care of your body entirely and this also has to do with what you're consuming thank you guys so much for stopping by if you learned something today you're welcome if you didn't learn maybe i can't help you maybe you need to see a shrink but anyway leave me a comment like share subscribe um click on the notification bell and come back again tomorrow for another video Bye, guys. <laughs> Stay healthy.